On November 4, 2024, Tony Hu, a former representative for Raytheon in Taiwan, confirmed that Taiwan's MIM-23 Hawk medium-range surface-to-air missile systems were indirectly transferred to Ukraine. This strategic move is significant, reflecting Taiwan's evolving defense posture and its role in international military collaborations. According to Hu, the Hawk systems have performed effectively in their new operational environment, underscoring their adaptability even as Taiwan transitions to newer technologies. Hu's involvement in Taiwan's air defense initiative spans several years, during which he facilitated upgrades and advocated for the acquisition of advanced systems like the Norwegian Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, NASAMS. He began recommending NASAMS during his tenure with Raytheon, perceiving it as a better fit for Taiwan's evolving defense strategy, particularly in light of the limitations of older systems like the Hawk. Initially, who viewed the Hawk system as a viable option for enhancing Taiwan's defensive capabilities. However, as regional threats grew more complex, he shifted his support to NASAMS, which offers greater adaptability and effectiveness in ground-based air defense. He emphasized that NASAMS could complement existing systems, providing an additional layer of defense amid operational challenges faced by older systems, such as the Tianbing missile system, which suffered from part shortages and outdated technology. The transfer of the Hawk systems to Ukraine was made possible through a US-managed third-party mechanism known as the World Wide Warehouse. This system facilitates equipment transfers among allied nations with US authorization, highlighting a coordinated effort among allies to bolster defense capabilities. Although who did not disclose the specific countries involved, the transfer underscores Taiwan's willingness to support international defense efforts, especially amid escalating tensions in Eastern Europe. Who emphasized that NASAMS aligns with Taiwan's layered air defense strategy, which aims to address threats across various altitudes and ranges. He pointed out that while Taiwan has been phasing out older systems, including the Hawk, NASAMS represents a significant step forward in modernizing air defenses. As Taiwan prepares to receive additional NASAMS units, who noted the potential for these systems to enhance Taiwan's air defense capabilities significantly, particularly as the island moves away from older platforms. On June 29, 2023, Taiwan's Air Defense and Missile Command officially decommissioned the Hawk missile system, marking the end of its 63-year service as a primary low to medium-altitude air defense system. This decision reflects Taiwan's commitment to modernizing its military capabilities and adapting to contemporary threats, including those posed by China. The MIM-23 Hawk missile system has a long and storied history in Taiwan, dating back to the aftermath of the 1958 Taiwan Strait Crisis. Deployed by the United States in 1960, the Hawk was integral to Taiwan's air defense strategy, evolving through various upgrades over the decades. By the 1980s, Taiwan had modernized its Hawk systems, and despite the eventual transition to domestically developed systems like the TN Kung-3, the Hawk remained a critical component of Taiwan's military for over six decades. The Hawk system's legacy is notable, as it was designed to provide mobile, adaptable air defense. With its initial introduction in 1959, the Hawk offered low-altitude capabilities supported by continuous wave radar technology. The system underwent numerous upgrades, including improvements in radar, countermeasures, and jamming resistance, enhancing its effectiveness in various conflicts globally. The recent transfer of Taiwan's Hawk missile systems to Ukraine marks a pivotal moment in the island's defense strategy and its role in global military collaborations. As Taiwan continues to phase out older systems in favor of more modern capabilities like NASAMS, it is clear that the island is committed to enhancing its air defense posture in response to evolving regional threats. Tony whose insights underscore the importance of adapting to new challenges while maintaining operational readiness, as Taiwan positions itself to better navigate the complexities of modern warfare and international defense partnerships.